I knew it was going to be a very rigorous process. I knew it was going to be difficult at times. And so I already kind of went in there expecting like hell. And I don't think I've gotten hell. I think I've gotten like, oh, let's make a pastry for you. Um, and I love it. I signed up for this project originally, I honestly didn't know what to expect. And that's because um, the people signing us on didn't know what to expect either. The beginning, it said Orfeo in the title. I don't know if there's any Orfeo in this whatsoever. I think a lot of us had the idea that it would be like Hades Town, but without the musical aspect. And then very quickly, I think it was either the first or second rehearsal, they're like, oh, this isn't. This isn't that. But there's a lot of sensitive topics that we're touching in this uh, piece. The creative piece on social justice and disparity as far as racial inequality. The whole George Floyd with, with Breonna Taylor, with just police just, you know, being racist, just being racist. What's behind your back, sir? Calm down. What does it mean to be a person of color identity and what do we experience Having to do this production now has never been more important than ever. I would want someone to take away from the fact that um, this is ongoing and this is never going to end. Constantly being told. Go back to Africa. Go back to Mexico. Go back to Asia. We don't just talk about the now and we don't just talk about the past. We're talking about how the past is affecting the now. We're definitely uh, relying heavily on the tale of Bancos Biojo, who is this famed uh, leader of, of escaped slaves in a, in a free town, the first free town in San Basilio Palenque in, in Colombia. A lot of people were putting themselves into some of the pieces. Like we have like a lot of like our own personal experiences, our personalities. I am the mixed daughter of a Japanese woman and a white man. All of us aren't men, all of us aren't women, you know? So to hear each person's experience in such a uh, intimate space, as intimate as Zoom can be. I think we're so close because literally from the first rehearsal, we got deep. <laughs> um, we've done a lot of things where we look at poems and from other people and clips about racism and it would just get re really intense. We started doing like movement pieces and, and people are literally like, this close to my body in frame. And like, I'm like this, like how could we not get close once you've seen all of me? One student Marcos will always say a certain goodbye that's really hilarious, you know? And we'll say, all right, goodbye my little little nuggets of, of niceness. Good night, my chicken nugget. Or like something like that. And we just start cracking up and it's, and it's like now it's a thing that we're like, we're waiting for it to happen at the end of the Zoom rehearsal, you know? Uh, I, uh, we had a meditation thing with this speaker that they brought in where we all had a candle and we went outside and we did this ritual and we opened up about our feelings. Empty out my leaves from pain and I'm left with uncertainty. <laughs> um, and that was just amazing. I, I that, that was one of, probably one of my favorite parts of this production so far because God, I just was so connected with my culture. The personal stories that we share, just, it really makes me connected with them. Like, like there's some stuff that I told this group that I haven't told maybe some friends that I've known for 10 plus years. You know, we're doing some really cool stuff and there's some moments here that I think you'll be proud of and stuff. Like, I just tell my girlfriend that, so. Some people like give you, like, you thought they were one, one type of personality like before the show and then you hear their stories and they're like, com they're like nothing compared to what you thought they were. I've never felt so connected in a group project before. Like I know so much about these people. I feel like that's just been the best part for me, that camaraderie, that family, just being able to enjoy everyone and kind of be yourself, you know, and be open. And surgery, surgery. We went through multiple drafts of this story and, and the conversations have gone down so many rabbit holes 
We didn't even know if there were rabbits anymore. Or like, are there are there rabbits still here? Are these the same holes? Like, where are we going? Didn't really know how it was going to articulate, and we're still discovering how it's articulated. We had eight weeks of rehearsals, and we have no idea what story we're going to tell. <laughs> so once he finally got the first draft, it's like, oh, okay, this is the first draft. Good stuff, y'all. We did it! Hey. Some people are like optimistic. Some we people were kind of confused and not sure. And some people felt, you know, like they didn't like what was on. Because of this play, I was able to learn how to talk to to people and, and sort of in a humanizing way, try to be like, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think this idea works. We didn't like a skit or scene. We were able to speak on that. And we were able to say like, this is what I don't like. This is what I do like, you know? So those things are, it was beautiful because you don't see that a lot in theater. All of these segments that have been developed, about 14 different segments, some of the order of it we know right now, but some of it we're gonna need to film and then begin to puzzle piece. I think the biggest challenge is the fact that it is virtual. A lot of the segments are just kind of simple shots. Rhea Bennett, Speed. Uh, there's a couple segments that are, that'll be a little more complicated to do. Uh, the Meet the Coopers and the game show, these uh, comedy sketches, those will involve green screen. So that's gonna be a little tougher to pull off. Some of us have mirrored on Zoom and some of us don't, but then if we mirror it, the background gets messed up. It's just trying to make sure that when you're doing dance movements that the angle of your laptop is, you know, a certain way so that you can get at least most of your body. Turn on non-video participants or, you know, like the setting stuff. And I didn't know any of that stuff before. I've learned a lot of that stuff during this process because it's been all virtual. Like even right now we're hitting like new kind of walls that we didn't think we'd hit, but then someone has a great solution or someone says, oh, you know what, let's try this. We can film it that way at this angle and adjust the lighting here. I had to get the shadows and all that stuff again. This is something very important that I think is gonna reach people's hearts. So I have to really throw myself out there and give everything I have. We've all worked so hard and it is, it's difficult. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's difficult to do a Zoom production. This has definitely been a process. Um, and uh, my cast has just, we worked really hard. Um, and yeah, it's just been a great, it's been a journey. Claro, que su gota buscaba que le cerra plena.